morning everyone so yesterday i took some thumbnail photos today i'm going to be editing those photos turning them into thumbnails and then uploading my youtube videos i like to do that in batches so i've already filmed and edited a bunch of youtube videos that will be coming out this month so yeah let's get to it are you leaving i'm leaving i'm going to my music class I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hopefully your teacher likes your music. Hopefully. Okay, we'll see. Bye. Probably not. Bye-bye. While Vincent is away, I get some drawing in. This week, I was commissioned to draw Handsome Jack from the Borderlands video game series. I've been thinking a lot about patience this week. Quarantine has been rough on a lot of people, and it can be hard to slow down sometimes. Just got back from guitar class. My uh, teacher seemed to have really liked my song, so he let me borrow his compressor. Oh my gosh, look at this, it's a new pedal. Moving on to the inking phase. If you are curious about the tools I'm using, all the materials I use will be linked in the description box down below. When all the days run together, it gets hard to focus on the present. I find myself worrying about things I have no control over or wondering when we'll finally be able to go back to how it used to be. It's the Vincent Show. Welcome back. I have a to-do list. First, order of business. I have to master. Master meaning like uh, I can play it comfortably. This chord progression. Next, program a beat. And I really want to write a really cool bass part on top. I want to write a melody or a theme. Those those are my plans. Well, the first thing I do is I just kind of learn the, the chord progression. You're just going to have to watch me uh, play this over and over and over again. Let's give it to your coach, try. Uh. Uh. Ah. Okay, that was the whole progression. Ah. Once the line work is done, I add the different gray tones. Time seems to fly when we're locked inside, and before I know it, the seasons have already begun to change. It looks like uh, I have a good rhythm um, part on this, so uh, let's check back with the old checklist. Master chord progression. Well, uh, that's not mastered yet, but it's on the way. Program a beat. Kind of what I did. Kind of want to move on to the bass part. Okay, okay. Time to get serious. Your shit is out of tune. How dare you disgrace us with your evil sounds. Twenty-five or six to four! Screeching like super the sky! Moving on to the color phase, I'm using acrylic inks to add a bit of color. So what I have here is the sketch tape. Sketch tape. This is just a tape that I kind of layer over and over with. Just ideas. You come up with that. You come up with these ideas and then, then and then if you don't write them down or if you don't kind of capture them, these kind of go away and disappear. On the to-do list, what have we finished? We officially finished three things. We have a beat, we have the bass part, we have the chord progression, and we just cross this stuff out. Ooh, do you feel that dopamine? Using my deleter number two white ink, I add the finishing touches. Instead of wasting my energy thinking too much, I try to quiet the mind and do my best to take it one day at a time. It's really helped me focus on the present and not worry too much about what's in store for me tomorrow. Hey everybody, it's us, together. Why are you here? Well, we thought we would show you some of our music that we recorded way back when, and some of your music that you recorded when you were when a I was teenager. In, yeah, in high yeah. school. I have this weird hobby where I make tapes. I have a whole bunch of tapes, tons of tapes. And here are some old tapes that I have. I found these tucked away at home. I honestly don't know what's in most of these things, so I guess we're just gonna have to listen and find out. So it's kind of crazy that you used cassette tapes and you recorded your own music, composed, 
created. Compose. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't call it that. I would call it more of just doodling. That's more than most of us do when we play music. As really? A kid. Yes. Wow. I was. Uh, <laughs> I was expelling some pent-up frustrations, yes? So what we have over here is a vintage Panasonic desktop tape recorder. I love this thing. So yeah, when I make music, I either record it here, which makes digital files, but I really like recording music on this. When I have ideas, I just use this. So let's just see what is in here and randomly play it. I call it a sketch tape because it's sort of like a sketchbook. So I don't know what's in some of these. And we're just going to find out what's in here. All right, let's press play. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. First tape, and it's our song. <laughs> we wrote this song when we first moved in here. So that's that tape. That's the tape that I made uh, when we moved in here, which was two years ago. This tape is from high school. So let's see what's in here. Oh, God. Oh, my God. No. I think I was like 16 when I wrote this song and I barely knew how to play guitar. I think I had like a few chords under my fingers. God, okay. <laughs> that was awful. No. This is, uh, I would jam with my uh, high school friends. Uh, we made the song together. They're like legitimate musicians now. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is from, from that time. Who's singing? Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let's see what's in this tape. We're gonna get a copyright strike. Copyright All the money goes to the Cobain estate. Oh, here are some jams. Or oh, my brother is playing drums. <laughs> like we would just hang out and play and it's just music was just something always that I did. Even at art school, I still did music and probably skipped a few classes just to like have Craigslist meetings to buy guitars and pedals and stuff like that. Every time I'm done with work, I'm gonna do my best to fill up a tape with music. That's my life. That's all I want my life to be after work. We'll fill up all of these boxes. All of these boxes of tape. He won't let me call him a musician until he's finished all, all of these tapes. Yes. <laughs> These are the tapes I'm working on now. But then I really always wanted to make my own tape with like tons of songs on it. This on this isn't for anybody but for myself. Yeah. This is all you'll have to remember me by because I'm sure you're gonna outlive me. The future won't even be able to play these. That's I think that's what makes it better. What if somebody is like, oh, I'll buy them for X amount of dollars? Mm -mm. No? No. No. I'll keep them forever. You keep them forever? Oh, yeah. 